Jeremiah Omoto Fufui Foundation hereby support the wives of the army of the fallen heroes of the police. Jeremiah Omoto Fufui Foundation hereby present 40 million naira. There are more than 200 wives of officers from army and police right now here. Not that I am the one that who have more than other people in the world. No. What God has given to us, that what we also have to share to the world. John 3.16 shows us that God is ultimate in demonstrating unconditional love, as he is love himself. Love triggers sacrifice, for without love and sacrifice, there would be no human existence. On this note, the Jeremiah Metifafane Foundation has been helping people out of diverse problems. The one-week free personal development and entrepreneurship training program organized for defense and police officers' wives, held from on the 29th of November through 4th of December 2021, was one out of their many empowerment schemes. The women were taught several skills that will help them in gaining financial security and freedom from the first day through the last day of the training. Watch how they were taught. Your Facebook page that you are using as a business person, the content you publish matters. For whom the content is for matters. At least your product or services, which is your offering according to your system number one, you should be able to meet the needs of at least 100 people inside. I'm going to look at growing small scale businesses. The importance of small, small, medium, and micro enterprises. 75% of the GDP comes from small, small businesses. And some of the participants gladly shared what they learned during the training. Maya, very much welcome. Tell us your name and where you're from. Thank you. My name is Mrs. Rosemary Mwonyi from Edo State. I am Mrs. Ali Isa from Ami Barak, Trebatalia Wari. My name is Evelyn Ibinoba. I'm from Benin. My name is Mrs. Tessie Gambo from Delta State. And the man of God, on behalf of the Jeremiah Omoto Fame Foundation, organized this one-week personal development and entrepreneurship training program for all of you. How do you feel being a part of this training? I feel very blessed and very wonderful to be here. Actually, I never thought it was going to be as mind-blowing as this, but it's very, very interesting. So wonderful, so wonderful. In fact, I'm beginning to think that they set up this because of me. In fact, when I came, first of all, they gave us a free accommodation and a free uh, feeding. That aside, it was so wonderful. I learned so many things. As you are looking at me now, I'm beginning to see myself as a billionaire because I have learned a lot from this. Before I talk, I will just tell my God, say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because what will enter here, I tell my God, say, I know, say, my God, uh, my day don't break. So as I reach here, we will learn plenty of things. With, uh, what did they show us? Pens and some things we learn. So I know, say, go, go do it. We will still get mind to do the business the way where they teach us. In fact, I'm overwhelmed. I, when I was coming, I didn't know that this is what they are, they want to, uh, want to embark on. But when I get to this place, I know there is God here. And God has been so good to us. It's not easy to organize such a uh, program, both for data, Edo, and other states. We 
and they taught us a lot right from the day we we came in, in this place the orientation and all they have been teaching us is wonderful we are so happy i'm so happy i'm so happy it's not easy but i was overwhelmed because i never thought of this hey, what have you learned so far i've learned so much i learned paint production i learned how to set up business i learned how to retain customers not just setting up business but how to satisfy your customers and also learned about location of business not just setting up a business the spiritual aspects of the environment the good location you need to look at for before setting up a business and also to think higher above what business people are setting not just a small scale business my mind before now has been a small scale business but after this training now i'm going for something bigger and better i feel very happy i feel so great as i'm going i know i am going to break record what i will feel today, um, uh, our mama and prophet who i'll just tell them say thank you may go bring more and nothing for them may go open way again to help others after our training billionaire club yes because what they taught us of a truth, that is what we're supposed to do. But we that have no, we don't have business of our own now. After this, I know we are going somewhere. He has given you all free accommodation. You eat free food, and he is also going to equip you with some of money and some items, equipment to start up your life once you're done with this training. What do you have to say to the man of God, his wife, and the Jeremiah Omoto Fame Foundation? Since the first day I set my foot in this place, I've wished for one thing, just one thing for him, and I pray to God for that thing to grant him long life. Long life. Because he is not just the only man of God we have here in Delta State, but for him to have this heart of God, to set up something like this for all defense and police wife to be equipped. He's not just a man of God, he is a real God's man. There are so many men of God out there, but they don't think about what people are passing through. But this man is out there thinking of how to satisfy people. Since the first day I stepped here, I've wished for God to grant him long life, for him to do more for people. And I know my God is going to bless him and grant my wish. I want to say a very big thank you to him. And I pray that God Almighty will continue to keep him long, above 100, more than his expectation. His ministry will continue to grow from grace from strength to strength and i pray that god almighty we bless his wife they are doing wonderful we really appreciate on behalf of my on behalf of my colleagues i say a very big thank you to senior prophet jeremiah Omotofofoy. i want to say a big thank you to daddy may god continue to bless him bless the wife bless the family because it's not easy it's not easy for someone to gather women from all uh, different states to come and learn something for themselves, not for him, for, for ourselves. I said, may God continue to bless him. May God continue to fill him more. May God continue to bless his ministry. Thank you very much, man. God bless you. The grand finale of the event took place in a grand style. It was colorful and was graced by prominent personalities like the Chief of Staff of the Executive Governor of Delta State, Honorable Festus Ovi Agas, representing the Executive Governor of Delta State, His Royal Highness Ibrahim Idris JP, Ambassador Haruna Adamu Haruna, the Nigerian Ambassador to the United Nations, Muhammad Ali, 
the Commissioner of Police of Delta State, and his amiable wife, Dr. Christy Balaraba Tafida, representing the First Lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Engineer Umar Mustafa Gaba, the SA to the wife of the Honorable Minister of Aviation, representing the Honorable Minister for Aviation, and so many wonderful dignitaries. An opening speech was made and some of the participants gladly shared what they learned during the training. So, so Question Haja Asabe has, has, has prized what the prophet and his wife were doing to them. She said that their life and the life of her children has been changed due to this, uh, what, she, uh, what the foundation has done to them. She praised him and she praised that may God give the prophet long life and his wife so that the people can continue to benefit from what he's been doing. We have gained a lot since the inception of this curse. We have been taught on our business management, planning and execution of small scale businesses. The ceremony continued as some of the dignitaries gave a speech expressing their joy in witnessing this event. I want to advise you, every Naira, every Kobo given to you, be faithful with it. Because the Bible even says, when you are faithful with the small, God himself will touch the heart of our prophet, His Excellency, Prophet Jeremiah, to increase your businesses even to the higher level. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Jeremiah Omotu and his family, they make me very, very happy by observing those that they have been infected knowledge through their airport. We are all living witnesses to what Prophet Jeremiah Omoto and his lovely wife have done to all of us here. They are not the richest we have in this country. For me, they are the richest. Why did I say so? A rich man is not about how much you have in your pocket. A rich man is not about displaying and exhibiting a life of affluence. A rich man is he or she that shares what he or she has with his neighbor and all others. I came across a book I read who appreciate the value of friendship. In that book, the author says, a rich man is he or she that has friends. If you don't have friends, my friend, you are not a rich man. On behalf of the governor of Delta State, I want to congratulate the president and the vice president of this wonderful foundation. But I particularly appreciate them for the target audience. From what I saw, I'm sure we're over 200. Please, in the name of God, consider it a privilege. So the only way we can say thank you to the president and his wife is to make a success of this program. One way for you to measure the success of this your program, one way for you to impact 
is to introduce a monitoring and mentoring unit. And as I stand here today, I volunteer to be part of that team. I stand here today to call on all the private organizations, other public-spirited persons, to please emulate the good example set up by the Fufei Foundation. Thank you, and may God bless you. One of the trainers and a consultant gave his own remark. Let's hear from him. My name is uh, Abraham Umo. I am um, a consultant and I, com I came from Uyo for this program. I run MACP uh, Nigeria Limited, a consultancy firm in Akwaibum State, where we work with the multinationals and some governments to help in this uh, business of empowerment. I must commend the um, Jeremiah Moto for Fei Foundation for this gesture. Uh, many people do their programs for three days, but this is an entire week, and it, it means a lot. It's, it's a lot of cost, but it's worth it. And um, I commend them. The women have been given the skills, the knowledge that will help them move step by step, step by step until they get to the top. In conclusion, the president of the Jeremiah Mitifafeni Foundation, Senior Prophet Jeremiah Mitifafeni, gave his speech and the participants were presented with their certificates and a sum of 200,000 naira each as startup capital. I am very happy the people that are standing right now here our names are Prophet Prophetess Jeremiah Omoto Fufui. I also send my greetings to His Excellency, the First Lady of Federal Republic of Nigeria, representative that who is here, Dr. Charity. May God bless you for coming to our. And also send my also my warm greetings to the Royal Highness all the way from Yubi. Alaji Abraham, the mayor, may God bless you, and also His Excellency Representative of Delta State, Nigeria, the Governor of Delta State, Representative if Dr. Ifai Ukoa, may God bless him, and also the Minister of Defense of the Federation, may God bless you in Jesus' name, and also the CP and his wife, beautiful wife, that who also represents the IG of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. God bless you. Because I want our country, Nigeria, and the world at last, to now to be peaceful and also to share love to one another. Jeremiah Omoto Fufui Foundation hereby support the wives of the army, the wives of the fallen heroes, the wives of the police. Jeremiah Omoto Fufui Foundation hereby present 40 million naira. There are more than 200 wives of officers from army and police right now here not that i am the one that who have more than other people in the world no what god has given to us that what we also have to share to the world we are going to now hand over the money cash to you people so that you can go and begin to support and help your families and also giving you people certificates.
The participants were indeed happy and satisfied. Let's talk to some of them as they share their experience during the training. My name is Florence Mokobia. I feel very happy. I feel very happy, very much happy, very excited that I am empowered. I am so much happy. And I have advice for people over there. Be loyal, whatever you are doing, wherever you find yourself, be loyal so that at any time you may be picked upon for an opportunity. Their ministry will grow from glory to glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I am Mrs. Yunez Basikigo. I am from Edo State, a member of POWA. On behalf of my colleagues, we want to say thank you to Prophet Jeremiah and the Vice President for this great thing that he has done for us. We have learned a lot and again he awarded us with 200,000. I have never seen such a thing in my life and I want all the prophets in Nigeria, all the pastors in Nigeria to emulate this great man of God. My name is Mabel Omo Olawale. I am from 3 Battalion, military widow's wife. I was in organic class. I have learned a lot. In organic class, they taught us how to make black body wash, which is the black soap. They taught us how to make body uh, oil. They taught us how to make body cream for all skin type. They taught us how to make body uh, cream for lightening skin. And they taught us how to make lightening skin body soap, which is the black soap. The Jeremiah Mitifei Foundation will keep doing good because that is what they are known for. This is a wake-up call. Look around you and help someone in need today.